assaulting a Thargoid Titan might at first seem a daunting proposition but in actual fact it's relatively easy and there is no longer any specialised equipment that needs to be unlocked and Thargoid Glaive interdictions have been removed. There are also some cool paint jobs, ship kits, decals and arcs up as rewards for participation in this final phase of the war. At the time of recording there are still 7 titans to take down in the bubble so if you missed out on the Taranis attack last week here are our top tips and tricks to get you on your way. First then most importantly let's talk about equipment. Traditionally prior to the start of the Thargoid war getting involved in AX combat of any kind always meant unlocking and obtaining guardian weapons and equipment. Since the war however new weapons have entered the game that are specifically designed for use in the space around titans and they require no unlocking whatsoever. You just buy them for in game credits like you would any other module or weapon in the game. Up until late last week the caustic sinks and Thargoid pulse neutralizer needed to penetrate the caustic cloud around the titans had a tech broker material based unlock requirement to them. With the assault on the titans now firmly underway that material lock has been completely removed and just like the AX weapons these can be purchased for in game credits. All the AX weapons and the modules needed for titan assaults can be purchased from the rescue megaships located around the bubble. To find your nearest rescue megaship simply look for this symbol on the galactic map. You'll find both the weapons and the modules in the experimental section of ships outfitting. For success during titan assaults you don't necessarily need a tough ship. In fact in my experience if I'm under attack at the titan it's because I've done something wrong. It's far more advantageous for the ship to be as cold running as possible and as fast as possible. To that end you'll have a much better time at the titans if you can engineer your chosen vessel to take advantage of heat management modifications. Commander Mechan of the AXI has produced a number of useful videos covering the titan assault tactics and ship builds and I've linked to those in the description below. On the way into your meeting with the titan you're going to get hyper and interdicted by Thargoids that's almost 100% guaranteed. There is no need to engage with those Thargoids however simply put 4 pips into engines and boost away as quickly as possible before getting back into supercruise. One point worth underlining again as of last week Frontier have prevented the troublesome glaive hunters from intercepting commanders on their way into titan occupied space. The only interdictions you will suffer will come from scouts and from interceptor class ships which are easily escaped in a fast ship in particular. Once you arrive at the maelstrom surrounding the titan you're going to be faced with caustic damage from the cloud and you'll be weaving through the minefield of caustic generators but with careful flying and caustic sinks they shouldn't give too many concerns. Bind all your caustic sinks to one button in a fire group and have the Thargoid pulse neutralizer on the other button in the same fire group. When you start to take caustic damage you'll see the sinks filling up on your HUD. When all the sinks are full of caustic fire them off and they'll start to fill up again preventing the damage from reaching your hull. As you get closer to the titan you'll start to trigger the pulse effect that would attempt to eject you from the cloud. You'll first hear the pulse powering up and you'll also see lightning start to arc in the clouds ahead of you. Make sure you have a couple of pips in systems at least and then wait for the pulse wave to trigger. When the pulse is triggered you'll see the wave ahead of you approaching your ship. Wait until the pulse wave is about to hit your ship and then fire the neutralizer before it hits you. Make sure you keep your finger on the fire button until the wave has passed. You'll see the pulse wave neutralizers blue bar filling up as you trigger it. The idea is for that bar to be filling as the wave passes. Once you're through the pulse wave you'll see asteroids and then eventually the titan itself emerging from the clouds ahead of you. It's now time to begin your attack. When it comes to assaulting the titan I found a long range beam laser with thermal vent to be the best single way of keeping my ship cool. A couple of seconds of fire at the titan from the beam quickly loses all heat in my ship making me extremely difficult to detect. 
Create a fire group that has the nanite torpedo launcher on one button and a thermal vent beam on the other. Orient your ship aiming at a thermal exhaust port and be ready to move around the outside of the titan in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Don't wait for the thermal exhaust ports to open whilst pointing towards the outer edge of the titan. This just wastes time during your attack run as you have to turn towards the next port. When the thermal exhaust ports on the upper surface of the titan open begin your attack run. Target the thermal exhaust port, the torpedo will very quickly lock onto the target and it's a true fire and forget weapon. Once it's locked up turn toward the next thermal exhaust port at the same time as launching the weapon. There's no need to watch it hit before you move on to the next target. Hit as many thermal ports as you can before they close. As soon as they do quickly move to the underside of the titan remembering to use the thermal vent beam to keep your ship cool. I've created another fire group that has the thermal vent beam and off the shelf enhanced AX missiles on it. As soon as the thermal core of the titan appears fire the thermal vent beam and the AX missiles and keep doing so until the core is retracted. When the core retracts the titan will initiate its Taurus magnetic field attack. The Taurus attack is in the shape of a ring donut and you must be outside of the donut to avoid being damaged by it. Following a thermal core attack the quickest route to safety is to stay in the relative middle of the titan but head immediately away relative down if you keep the titan above you during the thermal core attack. This way you stay in the middle of the donut shape and are very quickly out of harm's way. Turn around and wait for the Taurus field to dissipate and then head back to the titans upper surface again. There is no need to rush, there's plenty of time to get in position again before the titan vents its heat again and you'll stay much cooler if you don't boost. Once you're in position wait for the process to begin again. Frontier have clarified on the official forums exactly what is needed in order to be eligible for the rewards associated with killing a titan but suffice to say that simply damaging a titan core is not enough. The total damage you do to the core must be worth 2 million or more in combat bonds and it must occur within one week prior to the titan going into meltdown. You don't need to cash in the bonds for them to be valid however. As we reported last week co-host of Lave Radio Alec Turner has produced a very simple step by step list style guide to assaulting a titan. We've linked again to that in the description below this video. At the time of recording current community efforts are largely directed towards weakening the systems around the titan Lagong in preparation for another all out community attack on the titan itself so you do have some time to prepare and practice before the main assault begins in earnest. Have you ever visited a maelstrom system yourself? Were you involved in killing the first titan Tyrannus and are you looking to help in a future titan attack? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything we've talked about in this video you'll find linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.